everybody. Welcome back to my channel. The recipe that I'd like to share with you today is of chicken green enchiladas. So let's get started with the ingredients. Okay. What we're going to need for this recipe are some green tomatillos. And for people who don't know what these are, these are not the same as the green tomatoes that you may find in the supermarket next to the regular red tomatoes. These are tomatoes that have the skin on them, okay, that you'll find them in the produce section. And on the inside, they're just green. You just peel this off, this husk off. And you need to wash them first, make sure that they're nice and clean because they do, the leaves do hold some dirt. Okay, and then we're gonna need two cloves of garlic, one chile jalapeno, one tablespoon of salt, a half of an onion cut up into sections. We're gonna need some cilantro and about three pounds of green tomato and about four cups of water. And I use this amount because I store half of it in the freezer after I'm done with it. So I make it a multi-meal so I don't have to keep making it. It's just a quick way to save you some time for a later meal. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put the tomatoes in a big pot. And this doesn't take long because these tomatoes get soft pretty quick. So it takes about 15 or 20 minutes to get this done. Okay, we're gonna put the onion in. The garlic, so I just put them in whole because we're gonna liquefy it at the end anyway. And then on the chile serrano, I take off the, uh, chile jalapeno, I'm sorry. I take off the, the stem and then we cover the tomatoes with the water. You don't need to fully submerge them because like I said, these get soft right away and actually that's just perfect, okay? And the cilantro, what I do is I have a good sized bushel here and I take half of that and I put it into the water, folding it in like this because we're gonna take this portion out before we blend it. And then we sprinkle the salt And we put the lid and we'll be back in about 15 to 20 minutes. You're going to bring it to a full boil and then let it cook down for about 15 minutes. Okay, guys, I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit, probably about two little scoops. a little bit more salt about a teaspoon of salt and then the fresh cilantro leaves that I left out from the when we first put it to boil okay I'm gonna put this whole little bunch which is about three tablespoons it's not too much okay and just be careful you want to let it cool it'll probably be best I have a spout that releases the, the steam too close enough where you can see this see the consistency you're gonna puree it real fine just let it go and let it puree okay I'm gonna do the second part of this the tomatoes and I'll be right back we're gonna get started on assembling the enchiladas now that the salsa is done and I sprinkle some olive oil you can use whatever oil you like and I get the corn tortillas the skillet was already hot. And you're just gonna fry them up a little bit to soften them. And sometimes I put a little bit too much oil, so what I do is I overlap the tortillas like this, and that coats so I don't have to add any more oil. Okay, so let me get on finishing the rest of these tortillas and we'll start on Or if you need to make a larger size for your family, of course, do that. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put some of the tomatillo salsa down onto the baking dish. 
before we put the enchiladas on top. And you're just going to coat the bottom. It doesn't have to be heavy. Just like that. Okay? I hope that you're at a good angle. Now, the um, enchiladas. I have some shredded chicken here. You can make these all cheese if you like. Um, I use uh, mozzarella cheese, but I had already, I had some of this chicken in the freezer, so I just defrosted it last night, and that's what we're going to use today. Okay, so I just put a little bit of chicken, you roll them up, make them as thin or as thick as you like, and put them into the baking dish. You add as much chicken as you want. You could even put some diced onion in here. That's totally up to your liking. Okay, so they're all on there. And then what we do is we get some more of the salsa and you're gonna cover the enchiladas. Tender enchilada later. Okay. See, just covered them all up. And then you're gonna add your cheese. I buy the block of cheese. I don't like to buy the shredded, the bag of the shredded cheese. This just gives it a much better flavor. I like to shred my own. The one in the bag seems a little powdery, dusty. And then you put as much cheese as you want. I personally like a lot of cheese, so that's how I do mine. Okay, you put it like this, and then we're going to put them in the oven for 30 minutes. And pretty much that's all you need. And then I might turn on the broiler at the very end just to give them a light crust on the top. So we'll get back with you as soon as we get to that point. Okay, guys, this is what they look like after about 30 minutes in the oven. The last 10 minutes were with the broiler on. Mm. Now I'm going to show you how I plate it up. Okay, this is how I like to plate them up. I like to take a little bit of the salsa verde and I put just a little bit down on the plate. Just make a little pull. And then I take my enchiladas. And I pop them on top. Mm. And it looks just like that and then I still have one more step let me show you I like to take some of this cacique uh, crema mexicana which is basically sour cream but the only difference is this one's a little bit thinner and I put some of this on top of the enchiladas and I just drizzle it and that's it you're ready for a bite and that's what it looks like. Doesn't that just look delicious? Okay, guys, let's take okay, a bite. Okay, guys, we're going to take the bite. Pretty sure this has been always one of my all-time favorite dishes. I just love these enchiladas. The top, the cheese gets a little crispy. And I really enjoy that. There it goes. Mmm. Super great. Chicken is moist. The salsa is a little tiny spicy, but not too much. The cheese is still creamy, but has a little bit of a crispiness to it. It's very good, guys. And I hope you try it. And I also hope you like this video. If you did, please give us a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and share on your social media. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.